what's up Taurus let's do a reading for you how are you guys I love you so much um let's see what messages we have for Taurus so right off the back um I've been seeing a lot of angel numbers lately for some reason like last night my um my kindle fell off the table like the nightstand fell into the floor i was like oh my god in the middle of the night it just fell over into the nightstand i went to go pick it up and cut it on to see like what time it is and make sure the screen didn't crack and it was 4 44. just now i sat down i was like oh my god okay <laughs> hi 444 just now i sat down to do the reading and it's 10 10. so yeah interesting yesterday i saw 555 five, five. lots of angels numbers synchronicities happening for you taurus oh we have the nine of wands okay so you could be dealing with the fire sign we have the queen of cups here so in your last reading i saw that there's a lot of messages about you keeping very positive or your emotions have been very um you've been working in this like um okay so i'm seeing that yeah there you are king of pentacles I feel like you're protecting yourself in some way or you have your guard up you have some type of or you have a lot of protection around you okay somebody is mad though the nine of wands i feel like somebody's aggravated they're agitated at something that you're doing they're aggravated that you, you're not showing hatred or you're not getting upset about anything yeah, we have the four of pentacles this person is holding this back i don't feel like this is your energy even though it's a even though it's pentacles yeah see we have the lovers and the king of pentacles here i feel like it's, mm, okay i also just got somebody could be holding back their love for you all right they're like aggravated that they can't give their love to you what who is this nine of wands please somebody has to hold back their feelings whether their feelings are um love related or hate <laughs> Whatever it is, somebody's mad that they can't say what they want to say to you. Interesting. Yeah, there you are, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. So there's like this give and receive energy here. This Libra energy. Somebody wants to give something to you. This could be their love. Yeah, the moon. I feel like this is a secret. Somebody wants to share something with you, Taurus. What is it? What's the six of pentacles for Taurus? Guys, don't forget to like this video. This is just a general reading. If you want a personal, you can email me. I have some personal readings coming out today. So what's the six of pentacles what is it that this person really wants to give Ooh, all right we have the two of swords reverse so i heard they're they they want to release their inhibitions they want to because you have the chariot as well so this person really wants to move forward with you they don't want this blockage they want to move forward in some type of way they could be wanting to travel towards you. You could be dealing with the cancer. But I feel like this has to do with somebody very emotional. They have a lot of emotions for you. Ooh, the tower. Taurus. There's no cups here, though. So what's the, what, what's the issue? I just heard what's the issue dear why are you holding back from such a man and uh frozen yeah taurus i feel like you are a four of cups the queen of swords you may be a bit closed off i mean working in a very logical sense okay so what does taurus need to know about this situation I feel like this person is going to explode like i feel like it's all going to come out or um something is going to come out here with the tower and the um tower and the chariot i'm hearing kanye west when it all falls down what 
what does Taurus need to know here? The Eight of Pentacles. I just heard if it ain't about the money. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so keep working. This is what you need to know, Taurus. Is, um, they're telling you stay focused. Um, I'm hearing fold or this person is going to fold the four of wands. You could be working from home or you're looking at a home, but there's something about you staying focused, staying, sticking to the grind, sticking to whatever you've been doing here. Yeah. 10 of wands. So you have the eight of wands, the 10 of wands. I'm also hearing um, all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. So you've been working really hard, Taurus. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Okay, what else does Taurus need to know in regards to the situation? The Temperance. I'm seeing you take a break in something or like some type of retreat or you need to retreat. Yeah, the nine of the nine of cups, eight of eight of wands here. It's so funny. Sometimes I don't want to say the things that I hear. But I'm seeing you, um, and this isn't about a person, okay? You've been working really hard. You're about to, they're telling you to take it easy or get something that you want. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands, okay? So this could be something um, I'm hearing aesthetically pleasing. So I don't know where I'm hearing. Oh, yeah, we have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're here, you're... You may be going shopping or something or choosing something for your outfit or choosing something to make you feel more attractive okay i don't know why just her lashes you could be going to get your lashes done or something ah we have the five of pentacles six of wands yeah it's like you're getting out of this five of pentacles energy where maybe you felt i don't know Maybe you um, felt, this is like, you know, if you haven't gotten your nails done in a while or you haven't treated yourself well in a while, maybe you're going to get your hair done or if you're a man, you're, I don't know, what do y'all do? <laughs> uh, maybe you're going shopping, you know, or you're going to get a beer, you're going to get a shape up. You're going to be coming out again. You're going to be um, feeling better in some type of way. This is what they're saying to do. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's time. Okay, so. Any last words here for Taurus? It's a pretty mundane reading. I was tapping into someone else's energy in the beginning. We have the Ten of Cups last card out so you're feeling good you're going to be feeling really happy um soon just so you know ten of cups you're feeling good i'm just here and treat yourself we have the wow major energy here the hermit the death card and the emperor though so i feel like you're going from the the, the hermit Maybe you were feeling a little bit um, like you were staying in solitude in some type of way. But there's a change here, a death that is happening, okay? And with the Emperor card, you're going to be really uh, taking control of a situation. This could be at work. I'm also hearing um, enjoy your perks. So maybe somebody has a gym card. Oh, I see a rainbow right at my feet. That's so cool. Oh, and there's a rainbow here in this 10 of cups. Yeah. 
somebody may have a I, I don't know i'm hearing a gym membership and maybe your gym has like some perks to it or something they're saying enjoy your perks wow there you are the queen of pentacles high priestess i just heard i know something you don't know and i'm not gonna tell you okay and then again we have the the knight of pentacles and the justice you're gonna get justice and there's something here about you you getting justice and um even though you're moving slow and resting you get to put something in somebody's face or like you're winning okay even though you're moving slow even though you're i wouldn't say slow i would say methodical okay because we kept seeing the queen of swords king of swords energy so let's get um a divination of the ancients for Taurus. Definition of the ancients for Taurus. So we have gamble and clarity. Gamble and clarity. Hmm. So even though you feel like something is a gamble, or you feel like something is um. You're not sure of the outcome. You have some type of, I'm hearing inkling, or you know that something's going to work out. That's that, this is like Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess. This gamble has to do with your finances or your money or your stability in some type of way. But there is some clarity in, instinctively. Instinctively, I feel like you do have clarity here with the High Priestess has to do with your your third eye your crown chakra this is just a knowing a connected you're very feeling very connected do not cut that off right now if you feel connected it is what it is okay you're seeing angel numbers you're feeling extremely um a tune or a line or you know um synchronized with the universe at this time trust it don't get nervous. Don't get aggravated. Don't um, hold back. All right, because these are the first two cards out. So, you know, you don't trust something. The Nine of Wands also for me is like, is, is somebody who doesn't trust the situation because they've been hurt so many times or they're having to hold back something or they're not spending or they're, they're saving, you know, because they don't trust something here. So we have choice that's flying out we did see the seven of cups which this one reminds me of the seven of cups it says worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome and you already know you already know no matter what it's, it's still gonna come back and more so what's the issue dear hmm interesting Okay, Taurus, we have growth, all right? It says evolution starts when you leave your comfort zone. Wow. Uh, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah, because you're being, I'm here, you're being um, thrust into a new position here with the death card and the emperor, all right? Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. If you're not comfortable being the emperor, you're not comfortable um, being in control of a situation, you know, it's, it's taking some, some adjustments here. But I feel like you are going to choose the right door, and I feel like any door would lead you into more growth. But you have to walk through the door first, okay? All right, Taurus. I love you. Bye. See you in the next one.